knife, I got a fillet knife that shaved a little hair. Just shaving the hair a little bit. I mean, it don't matter how sharp the knife is, there's not much you can do with this big boy. You can cut, cut, and cut. And it don't really do much good on a guard. It's not like an armored vehicle of the fish, you know what I mean? He's like, you, you gotta think of him as an armored vehicle of the fish. So, what we got is the tools of choice. We have 10 snips. Big Bowie knife, fairly sharp, and a small set of pliers. Well, you want to start this thing, you start right here on his back fin. Start chopping on the back fin. Once you get it started, you go all the way up till you get to the top of his head. He's coming out of there. That was a big filet. That's some of the best eating meat that sells about seven dollars a pound around town. And, uh, fairly good, fairly good meat. White, real white, clean, clean meat. Hard parts getting in there. So what you do? Keep doing that until you get all the way to the top of him. Then you gotta ring him out. Get that little strip dirt cut off. Then I'm gonna take some can snips, cut around until you get to the other side in order to cut his head off. I don't know if many of y'all know exactly what back straps are. That's what a gar is. He's too long back straps and the, the bones that's inside of it and the rib bones are so thick it's very easy to fillet. But first you gotta take his pull off and take him going down the edge of it. Once you get him started it's not so bad but it takes a minute to get it started. You don't cut your fingers off. Them scales are quite sharp yourself, not just a knife. And the smell of these are not quite like regular fishy smell, it smells more like a shrimp. <laughs> it kind of smells like a freshwater shrimp. One side. Usually I like to leave the guts inside of it. Some people like to ram him all the way out, but I like to ram it out to where you get the bottom part of his belly. And that way you can take the fillet right there on the back, in the backbone. So you have that one little strip right there. See that little strip? This is backbone. You just keep running your knife down it like that. Starting from the front. You just keep running that. And what happens is you're filleting it. Pulling off one big long fillet. The bones are so thick it's kind of hard to cut the bones. Especially on the guard this size. Keep kind of reaming him and reaming him. Running it down until you get the middle of the side. And after you're done, you have two big long back straps. A lot of people they don't really like gar because they're so tough and hard to skin. Trust me, that is one fine fillet right there, and it tastes great. <laughs> uh, some people like to patty them. I like, I like them fried. I like them patty. I like them any way they come. They, they got more of a texture of a chicken. Kind of tastes like chicken strips. They have special tables built to do this kind of stuff, but we don't catch enough to really. Have to do it every day, so <laughs> I always hand do it. Ow! That's what happens when you hit one of the scales. <laughs> See that? You got me. You got me right there. Well, I just thought the battle was over when I was pulling him into the boat. And he's still dangerous even when he's dead. <laughs> 
empty. I'm, I'm assuming probably about three pounds of meat. Two, two and a half. Some people like to rent the whole thing out, but I kind of like to leave the guts inside of it. There's a little bit of meat there. I did cut some of it off. But a lot of that pink meat's kind of got a little stronger taste, but you can fillet that off too if you want to.